Building a strong mechanical design portfolio is crucial for showcasing your skills and standing out in a competitive job market. But what if you haven't done many projects or don't have evidence of your work? This situation is common, especially for those early in their careers or for one making a transition into the mechanical design engineering. Fear not, there are plenty of ways how to build a compelling design portfolio even without a substantial project history. Hello Newtonians, Mate here. Keval asked me on my video mechanical design portfolio to uh, just just a second uh, sorry uh, what to do if you haven't done many projects or, or don't have evidence of your work he also wondered where to find online projects to include in his portfolio in this video i will share with you eight practical tips to help you build a compelling mechanical design portfolio from scratch even if you're just starting out. But first, shout out to Keval for asking this great question. If you would like to be featured on the Newtonian World channel, like Keval is, comment on my videos and the best questions will be answered. This video is a follow-up to my previous video mechanical design portfolio and I strongly recommend that you watch it before moving on to this video. I linked it in one of these upper corners also, in the description, you can find the link to download an example of mechanical design portfolio for free. Please keep in mind that as we go through these tips, building a great design portfolio takes time and effort. This is not something that you can do overnight. Building a great portfolio is a learning opportunity and it's a lot of fun. And if you look at it the right way, it is an investment in your future. So let us start. Tip number one, identify your interests and goals. Start by identifying your interests in mechanical design. Are you passionate about automotive design, aerospace, consumer electronics or industrial machinery? Clarifying your interests will help you target the, the, the right kinds of projects to undertake and include in your portfolio. A similar approach is to look into the companies that you are interested in and to create the projects that are similar uh, to their product, uh, product portfolio. In this way, working on your projects will be much more efficient and interesting for you and you set yourself in the direction of future jobs. You might even write your final thesis on this topic to further develop your skills in the area of interest. Tip number two, collaborate on university or group projects. If you are a student, you could find a team of students with similar interests and start working on different projects throughout your studies that also might be required from your university. If you are a recent graduate, you could look into the projects you have done during your studies and see if any projects are worthwhile to add to your design portfolio. CV alone will not do the justice to the effort you spend during your studies. So at the beginning of your career, showcasing projects you did while studying is a great way to stand out amongst other graduates looking for a job. Tip number three, undertake personal projects. Personal projects are a fantastic way to demonstrate your initiative and creativity. This can be anything from designing a unique mechanical component to creating a new gadget. Document each step of your process thoroughly, include sketches, pictures, simulations, and the final product. Even if the project is hypothetical, it still demonstrates your workflow and problem-solving skills. More about this at the last tip. Tip number four, replicate existing designs. Another effective method is to reverse engineer existing products. Choose a product you admire and try to recreate it. Document the entire process from the initial analysis to the final model. This exercise not only sharpens your skill, but also fills your portfolio with practical examples. I plan to do a video series where we would do the product decompositioning and analyze the design features of different products. If this is something that you would be interested in, please let me know in the comments. Tip number five, 
freelance and volunteer work. Reach out to the companies in the area and see if they are looking for uh, student helpers. Additionally, websites like Upwork and Fiverr have freelance gigs that you can take and gain a real-world experience. Similarly, consider volunteering your skills uh, for non-profit organizations or community projects. These experiences can be valuable addition to your portfolio. Tip number six, take online courses and certifications. Many online platforms offer courses in mechanical design, CAD software, and similar relevant subjects. Websites like Coursera, Udemy, and LinkedIn Learning provide certification upon completion of these courses. Not only do this certification enhance your resume, but the projects you complete as part of these courses can be included in your portfolio. I'm working on an engineering drawing online course, so make sure to use the link in the description and sign up on the waiting list. Tip number seven, join online engineering community. Platforms like GrabCAD and Reddit Engineering forums are excellent place to find project ideas and collaborate with other engineers. Participating in community challenges or contributing to open source projects can provide hands-on experience and material for your portfolio. Before we move to the last tip, I would like to encourage you once more to reach out in the comments and share feedback about this type of content or any questions you might have. If you are too shy to reach out, at least press the like button to help this channel grow. My final tip is regarding how to present your projects in your portfolio. Tip number eight, focus on engineering documentation. Engineering documentation is a critical aspect of mechanical design. It involves creating detailed records of every step in the design process, ensuring that all aspects of the projects are meticulously documented. Include design specification, technical drawings and pictures in your portfolio. Detail the thought process behind your design decisions, constraints and assumptions. Explain how you conducted design for manufacturing and design for assembly, uh, FA calculations and similar. This shows your ability to create comprehensive design documentation that can be used by other engineers and stakeholders. Document the process of selecting and integrating supplier-controlled parts. Explain how you identified suitable suppliers, evaluated their parts and ensured they met project requirements. This demonstrates your understanding of the supply chain and your ability to work with external vendors. Also, discuss the document system you are familiar with, such as PDM, Product Data Management, or PLM system. Mention specific software like SOLIDWORKS PDM, Autodesk Vault, or Siemens Team Center. Explain how you use this system to manage design data, control the revisions, and collaborate with team members, if any. Please keep in mind, as I mentioned in the beginning, building your portfolio requires time and effort. You cannot do it overnight. Make sure that you have a clear picture of what you want to achieve with your design portfolio make a solid plan and stick to it. That is all for this video. If you like this type of the content and you would like to see more of it in the future, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Ciao.